Hello Synapse CICD fans, welcome to this video series on Synapse CICD. My name is Rui Cunha and I'm a support escalation engineer on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Today's video is about using a simple branching strategy that will allow developers to work in different projects using a single Synapse workspace. As you are adding more complexity to source control in this scenario, you are requiring more maturity and skills from your team members, both from a Synapse and CI-CD perspective. Let's watch this demo and see how you can achieve this. Now, working collaboratively in Synapse Studio, when you're dealing with multiple projects in the same workspace can be quite challenging. And it will all depend on how mature is your team, your developers with Synapse and CI-CD DevOps. I will show you in this video how you can use a simple branching strategy to help you manage all this code from different projects, different features by creating a simple strategy, branching strategy. Let's put this scenario, project A, project B in a single workspace, okay? Two developers working in different features. Let's start by creating the feature branches for these developers. What you can do, isolate by folders, project A, your developer name, and then new feature one. We will create this based on main branch for now. Another developer now working for project B, John, creating the new feature one. Let's call it new feature two, not to confuse with the feature one from project A. Now, what we can do regarding this branching strategy is to create a new branch that we call it the gateway branch. Project A, Gateway A. I will explain the purpose of this Gateway branch a little bit later. Let me do the same for this Project B, Gateway B branch. So now I'm a developer working for Project A. Here is my feature branch and I want to create a new pipeline. Okay, There is already existing stuff here in this workspace. I don't care about. Let me get rid of this. I don't want this here, just not to make any confusion. And now I'm going to create this new pipeline for my project. I will create a folder to organize my artifacts per folder, project A. And in project A, I will have this pipeline. Call it project A pipeline one. Just a wait activity here. And I will commit all my changes here. Now, developer B, John. Again, let me just drop this create so John does not have visibility of my folder okay project a and not my any of my um, artifacts Let me call proj B I'm starting this from scratch so I'm creating the pipeline folder structure here so this will be proj B pipeline one example wait activity and there you go commit all the changes so now let's go back to Rui who is working on this is making these tests all that stuff and then everything is ready for acceptance okay 
this new feature one in project A is ready to be deployed for uh, the acceptance. What we can do here is to create a pull request and instead of merging these changes into main, I will select my gateway branch. So, so I will merging my new feature to proj a gateway. Let's call it this way. Okay, let's create this. Complete. And now what I'm going to do here is to keep my new feature one. It, it will go just for acceptance. It's not ready yet for production. It will go to the gateway branch. We can complete this. Let's go to the project B and do the same for John's feature. Let's create a pull request and merge with the project B gateway. Merging John's new feature with project B gateway. Let's create this pull request now and complete the merge. We just see here this merge has been completed and John's merge is completed now. And now let's take a look at the branches here and see. So under project A we have this new feature for this developer and we have this gateway A branch the same structure for project B. Now if we go to the gateway A branch you will see here the pipeline for project A okay. and if you go to the gateway for project B you will see project B pipeline as well. Now when we have all our artifacts in the gateway branch this code here can be deployed to a UAT environment for example for acceptance to be tested and when your code is tested and ready for production that's when you can go to your gateway branch okay, and then you can merge your changes from your gateway branch to your main branch. Let me show you how you can do it. So here I'm going to create a pull request. Here are my files. I'm just dropping here my whole pipeline and here is my project A pipeline. This is what it matters, this artifact here. So now I'm going to new feature project A new feature accepted and I'm going to merge this into my main branch. I will complete this merge and I can do the same for example suppose that project B gateway this feature was tested in a different environment UAT all good to move this to production so we want this to be merged to main so proj b new feature accepted for example create and complete let's complete the merge so this merge is now completed from gateway A into main and this one is still active but it's now completed and here it is. Back to our branching strategy here, the structure. If we go now to main we will see project A and project B pipeline here ready so they are they have been published 
and they exist here in gateway A and gateway B for project A and project B. Now suppose that I want to start for a new feature in project A. So I would go here, new branch, project A, my second feature, and now instead of creating this branch based on main, because main will have, I will be creating this second feature from the gateway A branch. When I do this, I will not have any pipeline from project B, but if you go here to the main branch, you will see both project A and project B here, they coexist. So whenever I want to run a pipeline or to trigger a pipeline from a project A, I'll, I can do it from project B as well. They can coexist. But keep in mind that the isolation is here in the gateway branches. This is where you isolate project A from project B. And you will see in another session that at any time you can grab the project B code from the gateway and deploy to a different environment. For example, if you want to test only the code from project B in a UAT environment, for example. So you will have this gateway branch for project B as your shared code base for your project. So this can be quite challenging, but it depending on how creative you are with your branching strategy and how skilled your team is with DevOps, you can achieve that. But keep in mind that at the end of the day in Synapse, you will have a single collaboration branch where things can coexist. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts and ideas. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you up on the next one.